and the spending all this things really does no greater clarity. Once we are aware, let me be no more if five minutes, five hours, or five days after the first we need to admit our error as soon as possible and correct any coming fast. In the line step, we find that the process of omitting our mistakes and changing our behavior brings about tremendous freedom. Of course, we must be just as careful when amending our current behavior as we were when we made amends in the line step. If we find that we are not the past, we said to a meeting, silently judging someone who shall, we certainly don't need to go tell that person what we were thinking. Instead, we can make an effort to be more tolerant. We must remember that the change step isn't a one second endeavor. An exercise in looking what we have done wrong. We must resist any urge to become obsessive with this step. Closely searching of ever implying our character. The point of the tenth step is for us to be willing to pay attention to our behaviors and learnings. Then work on what we need to change. We should acknowledge that, but for them, our motives are good and we do things right. Character defaults and character assets do not look to each other, and we are sure to find both on any given day. Recovery-oriented goals for ourselves that we were misstep. When we see that we be a threat to go forward in a particular area of our lives, we can resolve to take a cure, staying our courage from our firepower. When we see that we be selfish, we can start to become more generous in the future. When we realize that a great with falling should be in any area of our life, we can start to be overwhelmed by feelings of dread and fear of failure. Instead, we can be grateful for our self-awareness and looking to we know that by applying our progress of recovery to our shortcomings, we will change and grow. We begin to see ourselves more realistically as we put on our work in the tenth step. Many of us can remark on the freedom we experience. Admitting our mistakes and releasing our wealth from unrealistic expectations. First of all, we went from one extreme to another, either feeling better than everyone else or feeling worthless. We now find the middle ground where we self worth can flourish. We fear a new progress we uncover from the first and set in this step. We see ourselves as we really are, accepting our good qualities along with our defects. Knowing we can change with the third of a higher power. We are becoming what we were meant to be all along. All human beings. Although all of us need the love and attention of our 
sir. Let that the new we must depend on people who provide what we can only when we need ourselves. We can stop making unreasonable demands when others then could be fulfill all ourselves in relationships. Our romantic relationships, our friendships, and our interactions with family members, co-workers, and casual appointments are undergoing and its funding change. We are free to enjoy another companion because we no longer so obsessed with ourselves. We finally see that all of the lives we use to keep. 46. Other people go away are unnecessary efforts and more often than not. All the underlying cause of the pain we suffer in our relationships. Healthier relationships are just one indication that the quality of our life can improve dramatically. Such indications merely reflect the intangible but worrying changes that have taken place inside us. Our entire outlook has changed. Don't come to the spiritual values we hold here today. Concerns such as looking to your amazing material while creating significance. By accepting the challenge of self a person hot for in the tenth step, we discover that we value our recovery and our relationship with the God of our understanding of all else. As the inner chaos that we live with holds all of success, we will think to experience long periods of serenity. During these times, we experience the powerful presence of a loving form in our lives. We are increasingly conscious of that power and are ready to serve for ways to maintain and improve our contact with it. Seeking direction and meaning for our lives, we go on to the 11th step. Step 11. We suffer for every medication to improve our conscious contact with so that we understood him. Praying only for knowledge of this will for us and is the harm to carry that out. Throughout our recovery, one of the things which stands out as a result of our working the steps is our success in keeping a relationship with the God of our understanding. Our initial efforts resulted in the decision we made in the third step. We continue by working the following steps. Each one of which were designed to clear away whatever barriers might stand between our higher power and ourselves. As a result, we are open to receive our higher power's love and presence directly into our lives. So many of us, the characteristics of our disease and the things we did in our active addiction separated us from our higher power. Our self-obsession made it difficult for most of us to even believe in a power greater than ourselves. Much less achieve conscious contact with that power. We could see no purpose or meaning in our lives. Nothing could go into the emptiness we 
fell. It seemed that so we shared love for one, one with others at all. We felt alone in a vast universe, believing nothing existed beyond what our limited will allow us to see. However, once we begin to recover, we find our obsession with ourselves diminishing and our awareness of the presence of a higher power We began to see that we are alone and never have been. To work in the previous step, we have already achieved a conscious contact with the God of our understanding. Our separation and isolation from access in the eleventh step. We now see in through our conscious contact with the God of our understanding through prayer and meditation. Many of us that travel understanding the meaning of praying for power in the eleventh step. At first when this simple contradicts the most basic aspect of our recovery program, our admission of powerlessness. But if we take another look at the first step, we see that it says we were powerless over our addiction. Not that we would be given the power to carry out the will of the God of our understanding. We did the being at the point of powerlessness in the first step. We were powerless over our addiction and incapable of carrying out anything but our own. This doesn't mean we take power over our addiction in the eleventh step. In the eleventh step, we put for a particular kind of power, the power to carry out the way. We no longer stay away from spiritual growth because it has become so essential to maintaining the peace of mind we found. Perhaps at the beginning of our recovery we lost the steps because we were in pain and afraid we would relapse if we didn't. But today we are motivated less by pain and fear, driven more by our longing for continued recovery. This leaning toward recovery remains that we surrender more completely. We reach a state where we actually believe that the will of a power greater than ourselves is better for us than our own will. It has become second nature for us to ask ourselves what our higher power will tell us to in our lives rather than attempting to manipulate situations so they happen according to our ideas of what's best. We no longer see what's good for us as something we have to endure. On the contrary, we make a conscious effort to align our will with our higher powers, believing that we bring more happiness and peace of mind by doing so. This is what surrender is. A heartfelt belief in our own fallibility as human beings and then equally heartfelt. 四十八, the session 